We're learning more about a deadly house fire in Northeast Heights. Neighbors say the son had just moved his elderly mother back into her home, and there was a lot of suspicious traffic in and out of the area before the fire started. News 13 Selena Westervelt is live in the newsplex with details. Selena. Alex, police say the house is so badly burned there's almost nothing left on the inside. We do know that the woman's son survived and homicide detectives are now investigating. Residents in this neighborhood near Candelaria and Wantabo woke up to quite the commotion this morning. I could see this huge glow and I stuck my head out of the back door and uh, saw all the flames and knew exactly what was going on. Next door neighbor James Bryden says he heard a loud bang just before six, then saw flames shooting out of his neighbor's roof. I tried to yell into the house, there was no answer. When firefighters extinguished the flames, they found a body inside. The body, due to the fire, um, the age, the sex, and the identity, are unable to be determined at this time. Neighbors say the only people living in the home were an 84-year-old woman and her 53-year-old son. Police tell us they're questioning the son, but would not confirm if it's his mom that was killed. They did say they've been called to the home before. This is definitely a location that's on our radar, and um, the neighbors have been well aware of issues surrounding the property as well. Sergeant Simmons says the house has been red tagged for code violations and criminal activity, but wouldn't elaborate. She says the problems were fixed, but recently neighbors noticed something else. There's been a lot of traffic in and out of that place for quite some time. A lot of different vehicles, all hours of the night. They suspect drugs and say the woman was just trying to help her son. She was, you know, arthritic. She was getting around a walker, um, you know, just put in a dangerous situation. As investigators try to pin down a cause, neighbors are still in shock. It's a sad thing for the neighborhood. Uh, it's kind of a shock to, to everybody that lives around this area. Now the hazmat team was also on scene today. We're told the woman may have been on oxygen. Her son has a long criminal history and pled guilty to drug charges in 2003. Alex. Okay, Selena, the house was completely destroyed. Police say they're also questioning two other people in connection to this case.